Hey, so welcome back. We are um, today going to do a exhaust review on my car. Um, like I've said in previous videos, I have a Borla uh, exhaust. It's just an axle back exhaust. Um, it runs about 600 or so in the price range. Um, so it's not terrible either way. Um, that's what we're going to be doing today. So before I started it up and got to going today, I figured I'd get a cold start and... So this is a little later on in the day, um, but I just figured my car has been sitting for quite a little bit. I just got done with work and I figured I'd give it a cold start to where you could hear what it sounds like on the interior of a cold start. So. It's not too shabby, not too shabby. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is take this out on the road, place the GoPro down on just a uh, section of road and drive by it, get some drive-by shots of how it sounds, just driving by normally, driving by fast, just where you guys can hear and really tell if this is the exhaust that you want. Also, the audio may not be the greatest because I haven't got an external mic for this thing yet. So that needs to happen in the future for sure, but they're not the cheapest and this wasn't cheap either. So I'm trying to be on a budget and not spend all my money at once. So. Now the next sound clip that I'm gonna do is gonna be a just pull away from the camera. So I'm gonna, just gonna start in neutral, go first gear, second gear, and then turn around and come back. Uh, and see how that sounds. <coughs> Sorry, and see how that sounds. Uh, the wind noise is probably pretty bad because I don't, like I said, have a external microphone with a wind. Uh, forgot what it's called. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do that right now. That'll be the clip and see how that goes. I don't really know how those turned out because all I could hear them on is my GoPro speaker and that's not the best so we'll have to review those when I get back home and edit um, but if it didn't work out it's my third video so everybody's got to start somewhere right so um, next thing that we're gonna do is just some interior sound clips um, I would do some exterior on the car like put it on there but I don't have a GoPro suction mount yet because they're um, expensive and i like i said i'm on a budget so uh, we'll get one of those eventually and have some really cool exhaust clips mount the suction cup right here right next to the exhaust and get some clips and i would like to in the next couple of videos get some rollers of my car um, just see how that looks and get some cool video of it um, but yeah like i said we're gonna hop into the interior and we're just gonna do uh, some interior sound clips so the wind noise should be better right now maybe a little echo reverb um you never know it's i'm just literally second day filming with this thing so don't really know how to use it the best so it's all a learning process but we'll go from there okay now this angle may be um actually pretty good or complete doo-doo but like I said, I don't have any mounts for my GoPro yet. I have a uh, chest mount on the way. Haven't got that just quite yet. Um, so then we could do like some uh, point of view stuff. Uh, but so this is all we got. It's literally sitting in my shirt. So hopefully it's good. But we're just gonna do an acceleration, uh, come back around and <clears throat> do another acceleration just in case 
the sound got whacked up on the first one, and then we'll just do some driving clips from there. All right, let's go. Now we're gonna get a little downshift here to where you can hear what it sounds like. All right, and then we're back around the roundabout and nail it. Wish there was a straight after that roundabout, but there's not. So we just have to deal with it. I'd like to go up to fourth and fifth, but can't do that just because of the corner. So just real quick, I just finished um, the interior sound clips and can you see her? This freaking lady at this complex just drove by and like stopped and took a picture of my license plate. I don't know what she's doing, but <laughs> I think it's just funny. Like what did I do wrong? Absolutely nothing. There's not a speed limit sign there. I didn't do any freaking donuts. So, yeah, you know, she's just sitting there. I don't know what she's doing. It's freaking hysterical, though. So I'm just going to just do a drive out of here. Um, not any hard accelerations, but just a little drive. So hopefully you guys don't mind this angle. Hopefully it's not too bad, and hopefully it doesn't fall again, because that's just awkward, so... All right, give it a shot here. Yeah, I don't see any speed limit sign besides the one that says freaking 15 miles an hour around the roundabout, and that's a caution. That does that doesn't apply like street law. So, just dip out of here. Ooh, got a little slippy. That was a cop. Thought that was a cop. That freaked me out. I'm gonna slow down. <laughs> that would have been awkward. Third video already get pulled over. It'd be a rough one. All right, so I'm currently going 60 miles an hour, 62. Let's get, bring it down to 60. We'll set the cruise. So I'm currently going exactly 60 miles an hour right now. Um, so this is what the wind noise sounds like at 60 miles an hour, just so you guys know. All right, now I got a downshift for coming up to my exit. That was terrible. This is so bumpy. what it sounds like if you're trying to get the best gas mileage possible. Or not. Freaking truck. This truck like swerved way onto the lane, pulling into his lane. Idiot. I feel like truck drivers are really either really good at their job or absolutely just suck and don't know how to drive it. There's not an in-between. Like they're almost gonna hit you every time or they're amazing and it's just cool. Gotta wait on this dude. Come on, boy. Come on. There you go. That's a sketchy looking freaking truck. Sewer and drain, more like raping. Give you candy. Shit. So 
that's me just normal driving. Uh, that's what it sounds like. I don't know if I'll put all of this in the video. Might edit it out. Might not even put any of this in there. Might even not make this a video if it's so crappy. You never know. Um, it, like I said, this is my third video. It's my first video with this GoPro. So if you don't know how that's going to turn out. It's first for everything, right? So. Road is so bumpy. So this is a road that I have to drive literally every day because um, it leads right up to my house. Uh, it is literally the bumpiest thing imaginable. Like it's it's a really old road, and it's like they tried to fix it 47 million times. So. And then they got railroad tracks too, like if it wasn't bumpy enough. Right here. Shift into six. Wake my GoPro up. So this is what we're dealing with currently. Look at that. Look at that. Ridiculous, like, we gotta freaking just dodge bumps constantly. Just drive in the middle of the road, like, what the frick? Oh, Alright, we're gonna have to situate you back in there. And there's a roundabout that's coming. And I like to hit this roundabout good. There's a car in front of me, though, but not too close, so. is a lot of fun to drive guys if you are thinking about getting one I would definitely recommend it um, people always say it's underpowered uh, part of me would not disagree um, but part of me was like I, I've never really had a fast car this I mean the car before this was a focus the car before that was a Mazda 3 so they're all just daily cars but I don't know this is just a fun car for me and I don't feel like I need to mod it performance wise at all for right now I like where it's at and I think they did a really good job it's a <clears throat> very driver focused car so it's fun on some back roads and not that fun on the interstate <laughs> if I get beat by a freaking Honda Civic uh, but it is it is a blast and I would highly recommend the Borlo exhaust as well. I love it. It gives some good pops for sure, especially on a cold start. It it's just sounds nuts for an axle bag. So, all right. Well, I think that about does it for this video. Um, hopefully, it turned out well. If it didn't, you may not even be hearing this. But if it did, make sure comment your comments if the video angle was trash tell me hey this was trash um, if you liked it and drop me a like if you want to share it with your friends I would love that um, make sure and go check out my Instagram at Pobo overcome so it's P-O-B overcome um, same with reddit it's just Pobo so yeah so if you guys want to follow me and subscribe that would be awesome but as always i'll see you in the next one and hopefully we have a video out in another two or three days um <clears throat> it's going to be basically the next one's going to be i think something around the lines of what am i adding next so what mods am i going to do next because uh, right now as you guys know i have the um vinyl that i did with the red pinstripe i did a video on that go check it out uh, and then i just have the uh, upgrades that the previous owner did like the carbon lip spoiler um, the valenti tail lights and the borla exhaust uh, but besides that i really haven't done much to it uh, but i definitely want to i want to 
get this journey of this car on video and go from there so i think it'll be a blast and yeah so that's going to be it for this video and i will catch you guys in the next one peace